Good afternoon. It's still good. It's good timing. Good afternoon, Facebook. So glad to see you today and pray that you had a chance to either make it to the house of God or that you had a chance to hear the word of God um, either Zoom or Facebook Live. So just wanted to give you um, a quick word. Sometimes I don't want to say quick because <laughs> I tend to be um, rather long-winded, but I'm going to make this as quick as possible. Um, take a minute to send this to someone, um, tag someone if you believe that they need to hear a right now word uh, from the Lord. And, sorry about that. I went out and I'm going to jump right into it. I don't want to delay a lot of time, but just wanted to myself tag a few people. Today is a beautiful day here in um, Indianapolis after we've had some days and days of raining. But thank God the sun has broken through. The clouds are just beautiful, no overcast, not really hot, just the right temperature, I believe. So come on in and let me um, share something with you real quick like hello desmond i tell you you and your fiance <laughs> had me in stitches yesterday that picture was what i saw the first time and she said did you see the video i was like no not the video no i didn't know there was a video and then i logged back in and saw the video and i about well you saw what i put i flatlined I have flat lines. So let me know if you can hear me. And I'm going to share with you real quick. I did. I was I was so done. <laughs> hey Don. I've been really uh thinking of you, not in a bad way. Um, of course, what would I have bad to think about? But um the blessings of the Lord, um are upon you, woman of God, and not just you, your house. Hmm. I said, God, glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel a stirring. I didn't come here to say that. Um, there is a stir, there is a blessing upon you, but your house, your house, come on. Your house. And woman of God, you just need to put, I receive that glory to God. And I hear the word running over. My God. Don, this is your set time for favor. This is your set time for favor. But I didn't come here to just deliver a word to her. But for those of you that are, are joining in, just type in hello, say hi, say something. You know, it's, it's not good to, to come in somebody's house and don't say nothing. Act like you got some manners. Hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Hey, Amen. She said, I received that. Listen, if you know that you are in your set time of favor, I don't have to call your name. You can just agree with what the word just said going forth, that this is your set time for favor. Hello, I'm great. I am great, uh, my sister Monique. I am great. Um, so I was having some lunch with some friends and um, some great women of God. They probably gonna get me because I didn't tag them, but oh well, we're here now. And um, you know, lunch just not too long ago, and I've really just been stirred in my spirit since this morning. Um, because a confirming word came. And you all know, I'll say it time and time again, I'm not the preacher that's going to um, 
practice what I preach. I'm, I am the preacher that will preach what I have practiced. So two things I want to hit on. Uh, the first thing is, I think I put, what is God saying? God is saying and doing a shifting. And I know that, you know, we've heard that before and, you know, there's a shift in the atmosphere. But listen, as a believer, as a born again believer, you must know what season we are in right now. Glory to God. I, I love you, God. I feel you. And I want you, to I want you to interact with me. This is the season for the body of Christ to be shifted. Somebody write shift. And some of you, your shifting will be twofold. Hey, Della. Hey, Breon. Your shifting may be twofold. God is shifting the people of God in the natural. And God is shifting the people of God, glory to God, in the spirit. Glory to God. I hear the word elevation. Come on. Come on, stick with me, Don. I hear the word kishotaya. I hear the word elevation. See, I try, I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm not going to even say what I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say, but I, it's the Holy Spirit. You know, I try not to speak in a lot of tongues because I don't want people thinking I'm strange or thinking it's strange or, you know, I just have to speak in tongues. But I'm telling you, when you hear or yeah, when you hear me go off in tongues, it's because I am I am having a quickening in my spirit. Ah, my God, my God, this is the time that God is shifting the people of God. And some of you are shifting spiritually and some of you are shifting naturally and are you ready for this some of you it is double fold it is twofold you're shifting naturally and you are shifting spiritually now the thing is in this shifting season that we are in and see the word keeps coming back to me confirming because my apostle confirmed it to me or to us the people of God her, uh, her ministry she confirmed it about two weeks ago, maybe two or three weeks ago. Some of you, you're going to shift naturally. Some of you, you're going to shift spiritually. And then there's a group of you that's shifting both natural and spiritual. And while I'm saying that, I need you to understand that in the shifting, it is not going to be good for you to miss the shift. Mm hmm Stop dragging your feet. Some of you been feeling it, but you just keep dragging and you just keep, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if this guy, you know, I, I, listen, you're not going to get another confirmation. You're going to have to take God at his word and believe that God is speaking to you. Stop looking for all these signs and wonders when God has already spoke to you about what he is doing in your life, not trying to do, but he is doing in your life. Now, the try only comes in when you don't fall in line with what God is saying. And let me tell you, he ain't going to keep wrestling and he's not going to keep, um, you know, pleading with you to get on with the program, to get on with what he is doing. I'm not going to tell you that God is about to do and God is going to do. No, I'm telling you right here today on May the 16th, 2021, God is. God is. God is. I'm not telling you he's going to and telling you to get ready. Listen, you ought to already be ready for this shift. Some of you already feel it. Hello, my niece, Turquoise. Some of you feel it in your spirit that God is shifting you, but you're delaying. You're moving slow. This is not the time for you to be dragging your feet. This is not the time for you to be trying to seek another word. This is not trying for you to say, I'm going to fleece the Lord. No, it ain't no more time for that. It's time for you to line up and be in position for the shift that's coming your way. God, I love you. I devote Shia. Then the I'm going to explain it again. Shift is in the atmosphere. It's not coming. It's in the atmosphere. 
It's not coming. It is in the atmosphere. For some of you, it is a natural shifting. For some of you, it is a spiritual shifting. But then there's a group of you, it is both. You're being shifted naturally and you're being shifted spiritually. And that even means your location. My God. Glory to God. Here, write this in the comment box, Don. I hear, Don, I hear the word expansion. I heard the word expansion just now. I heard the word expansion. I heard the word, good God Almighty, expansion. Well, you know how, how, listen, you ain't got to know all the details. If God said it, baby, get ready. Hallelujah. If God said it, you better flow with it. Expansion. This is also the time while the shifting is being is being uh, done in your life and in the atmosphere. Hello, Gail. That's being done and being in the atmosphere. You got to watch who you are connected to. I know that's right, Turquoise. You got to watch who you are connected to. Oh, God, I'm going to say it one more again. You must be aware of who you are connected to. All of the connections that will be happening for the next 60 days. God, woo, let's say, yes, for the next 60 days. Hallelujah. You need to be watching your connections. Why is this person coming into my life? Why is this person trying to connect with me? Especially for those of you that are single. I don't know how many single people are watching. You got to be careful. You got you got to be careful. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Some people are, they, you know, they, they're just, um, they, they, they have us, um, they are, they will hinder you. I was trying to find the right word for the lack of a better word. I will say hinder. They will hinder you. They will delay you. You will find yourselves being, um, hindered and delayed and trying to move and you can't move. Listen. She said, Pastor preached that this morning about who you are connected to. See, let, let, me, let me say this too. A lot of the time, the prophet is giving you revelation, yes, but then there are most times that he's confirming things that God has already spoken to your spirit. I'm not telling you that God is not going to tell you something that, that just kind of you know, be like, wait a minute, what, that, what? Okay. Because there's, there's Bible for that. Saul had no idea that he was, he was, he was being uh, called by God to be anointed, to be King. But yet there he was because Saul was looking for his father's donkeys, but God had other plans huh, in mind for him. So, so not only does the prophet come to tell you, you know, what you don't know, but the prophet is also confirming to you what you feel in your spirit. Watch your connections for the next 60 days. Be careful of those that are trying to come into your inner circle. Do not be distracted. And right now I rebuke the spirit of distraction. I rebuke the delay spirit. I rebuke the hindering spirits that are on assignment trying to keep you in a place when God is trying to move you. Shift naturally, spiritually, and for some of you, it is a twofold thing that he is doing in your life, not going to do. He is already doing it in your life. Now you got to get in position to what he is saying so you can shift. Katovoshaya, my God. And as I was having, you know, lunch with these women, and the word, you know, I, it, I, I don't know why sometimes God stirs me when I be in some places. Because I'll be like, you know, I'm just trying to eat. I'm just trying to enjoy some good fellowship. And the next thing you know, God is having me uh, to minister and prophesy. And so I spoke that to them. And then the other thing God dropped in my spirit about this shift is, I touched it on a little bit a few moments ago. You cannot afford to miss the shift. Good God Almighty. Listen, I am reminded about the woman, my God, glory to God, that, that Elisha saw her and he said, you know, uh, can you bring me, can you bake me a cake? And she said, well, I only got enough meal for me and my son and we're going to, I'm going to bake a cake and die. Here come the shift. Hallelujah. Hello, my God. Hello, uh, Candace. Here come the shift. She said, I'm going to bake a cake and die. And then the man of God, here come the shift. He said, you bake me a cake first. 
That's ushit davashit. Kodavashaya. Come on. Put your hands down on the table because all of that movement is prophetic. All of that movement is prophetic. See, you all don't really understand my ministry and how God moves through me. But when you see me doing things with my hands, it is because I am moving things and I am shifting things, my God, as I see it and I feel it in the atmosphere. And he said, before you go make yourself a cake for you and your son and die, make me one first. There's a shift right there, Candace. What does God say? saying, do not stay in where he is, where you are right now, because God is shifting you. And the woman of God made him a cake. And because that he told her, he said, you will not, my God, glory to God, you will not be in lack. What am I saying? If she had done what she did, hallelujah, she would have not, if she hadn't died, she just would have been in a place of lack. Who is God speaking to? You got to see the shift. You must not move, miss the shift because if you do, you're going to be in a place of lack and barrenness. What? Well, sound like she cursing, cursing us. No, I'm not cursing you. I'm warning you. Hmm. I said, if you miss this shift, good God Almighty, ah, yeah, 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 you're going to be in a place of lack and barrenness. And listen, I don't know about you, but I didn't had enough of that. Glory to God. I didn't had enough of barely getting by. I didn't had enough of that. This is your set time for favor. Are y'all excited about it? Are you excited about it? It's, it's, it's in the atmosphere, good God. The woman of God said in her comments that her pastor was speaking on this this morning. It's in the atmosphere. Do not miss it. Listen, if you miss it, shame on you because God has sent, my God, word after word. He has sent prophet after prophetess. He has sent apostle after apostle to tell you that the shift, my God, glory to God, is here. I said, the shift is here. Not coming, it's here. Not coming, it's here. It is here. Oh, glory to God. Your shift is here. Your set time for favor is here. God, I want to run. I want to run, Gloria. I want to run. I want to run. Hallelujah. You better tell the devil to shut his lying mouth. This is your set time for favor is here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I heard the word just now resuscitate. Come on, my God. Those of you that have taken a CPR class, you know the movement. Come on, my God. Somebody ought to feel that in the spirit. Resuscitation. Just when you thought that that thing was dead, God speaks uh, um, resuscitation to it right now. Yes, that's right, April. Bring back a lot. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. And I'm trying not to fumble over my words too much. But your set time for favor. See, I didn't say, I, I, I didn't say loosely, you know, favor is here. No, I'm trying to make a clear distinction to you. Your set time. The Bible says this. Be not weary in well-doing. For in due season. That's a set time. Did you catch that? Don't be weary in what you're doing because in due season, due season, set time, you will reap if you faint not. This is that time. This is that time. Don't you be punked out of what God is doing and what God is saying to you and about you in this season. <laughs> God, I love you, Jesus. Oh, my God, my God, my God. And listen, this word ain't, this word is not, my God, I, 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 I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm not scared to say it. This ain't for everybody. Hmm. This word is not for everybody. It's for those that will believe God. It's for those that will believe the report of the Lord. 
Glory to God. You don't have to believe me, but believe the report of the Lord. This is your set time for favor. And for some of you, the devil is going to try to test you. He's going to try to punk you, but you better stand up. My God, I speak courage over your spirit. I speak, my God, fire coming out of your mouth that you will open up your mouth and say, the devil is alive. This is my set time for favor. Hello, my sister, Samantha. This is my set time for favor. Listen, you got to say it like you know your name. This is my set time for favor. I dare you to walk around your house. Walk around your house, my God. Lay hands on things in your house. The bed, my God. The closet, the clothes. Lay hands and say, this is my set time for favor. My set time. My God, that's it, April. My set time. I like how she capitalized set. This is my set time. Yeah, we, we ain't nowhere scratching and wondering and boohooing and rocking in the corner, sucking on our thumb. The devil is a fool in his mama too. This is my set time for favor. The woman of God made it. She made it personal. She said, this is Gail's set time for favor. That's it. Because you know what? Sometimes when people be telling us to turn around and tell our neighbor, turn around and tell, tell your neighbor, tell, listen, sometimes your neighbor don't want it as bad as you. But for the desperate folk, and I ain't meaning desperate in a bad way. I'm meaning fo desperate folks that's going to run over you if you don't get out the way. For the desperate people, we ain't got time to make connection with our neighbor because the neighbor may not want it as bad as we do. But when you want something bad enough, when you want what God said and you didn't had enough of the okie doke, you will, my God, hallelujah, get yourself in position to receive what God is saying. This is your set time for favor. Glory to God. Listen, and I need you to get the physical things, the material things. Yes, that, that is, it's, it's a part of that. But for some of you, my God, God is shifting in your spirit. He is shifting in your spirit the ministry that he's put in you. He is put, he is shifting the, he is shifting and, and he's ready to release the ministry that is in you. Listen, this is the time for signs, uh, miracles, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. However you want to say it. This is that time that we are in the season of miracles and wonders and signs that are being performed. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Did you hear what I said? So, in this time where God is positioning the people... We cannot miss this move of God. If you agree with this spirit and if you know that God has been speaking to you about shifting, whatever the shifting is, I need you to write in the comment box, that's me. I need you to write in the comment box, that's me. Not that I need a confirm confirmation. I know I heard God. And I know when I hear from God, there's a shifting in your, in your house. There's a shifting in your spirit. And all I'm here to tell you is that what you felt in your spirit, it is of God. You cannot miss this move of God. Thank you, Don. If you know God has spoken to you about look for a house, what you sitting down for? Hey, my niece, Jess. If you know God has spoken to you about moving, relocating, how many more signs and miracles and, and confirmations do you really need? It's time for you to get up. Do not stay in the wrong place while the right place is waiting for you. You remember that, Della? Do not stay in the wrong place when the right place is waiting for you. I'm going to say that one more again because I don't think they heard me. Do not continue to stay in the wrong place when the right place is waiting for you. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, you know I, I'm trying to figure. I'm just trying. No, 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 no. See, that's the problem. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out and you don't have no time to figure it out. Who 
is God talking to? You trying to figure it out and you, you ain't got no time to figure it out. You know God has said it. Just, just stand up and say, okay, God, you know what? I receive it. Where is it? Go out, get in the car and go drive. Hmm? Go get the newspaper and start looking at the news. Where is it? And God will begin to reveal. He will begin to show. He will begin to speak. But he's waiting on you to shift your mind. So right now, I rebuke the impoverished mindset. I rebuke the impoverished mindset, y'all. I rebuke the impoverished mindset. It's time to move. It's time to move spiritually or naturally or both. You cannot stay in the place that you're in. Listen to this. You ready for this one? Your womb is bigger than the tomb. Your womb is bigger than the tomb that's trying to encase you and choke you out and suffocate you. Your womb is bigger. I challenge you. Go forth in the things of God. This is your season. This is your set time for favor. I bless God. I'm, I'm thanking God for you to hear this word and for those that will hear on the replay and will respond to the word of God. I got to go. But know that this is your season, your set time for favor. God bless you.